Hey there, this is Mike Tram, formerly of Wide Lining, and you are watching Tell Us Rock. We're so sorry that we're coming here, but on the other hand, we're it's time sure. to get started! <laughs> yeah, show sorry. us the real rock star stuff. Yeah, you know, how is it really made? Yeah, well, yeah, that's why you came in through the back door. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So this what, is a, what's happening here now? Tell us. This well, is, you know, well, 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 rock and roll was once rock and roll. Now rock and roll has become half country, half pop. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what he said, how G.A.D. started <laughs> playing in some kind of country. We're, yeah. just, we're just surviving. Yeah, uh, yeah you know, we, we're getting older and, and uh, branching out, um, you know. Yeah. I, I, you know, I realized too that the audience is not uh, 24 anymore. Yeah, well. And, and, and not, not everybody handles the guitar solos every single day, so we, you know, got to get some different But there are, is, is there a new record coming up? I mean, well, I know that you're going on tour. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, this is, I, I kind of separate my life, life like John, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, yeah. you know. <laughs> now you can figure out who I am right now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have, I have the, you know, the uh, the re-recording of, of the Big White Lion songs coming yeah. out where I, I jump back into my 80s pants and uh, go out and sing those songs. And then once in a while when I just want to relax and play for other kind of people, I yeah. sing in Danish now. Oh, you sing in Danish? Yeah, I sing in Danish, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's what I thought too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good move. Yeah, I know. No, it, it could not be. It, it's only because it's so right over there where the other stuff is left. Yeah. So you actually, when we do this over here, and while we're doing this right now, you're actually now looking forward to go out and do '80s rock, of course, because you've been doing this. Well, it's and, and the it's other way of vice versa. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Off with the tight pants and bag into yeah, something yeah, bad. Yeah. He's talking. <laughs> 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 but you were playing this uh, this White Lion tour. Yeah. Uh, starting. Or well, has it already April, started this year? Yeah, no, it's starting April 14th in April Germany. 14th, and then okay. I'm playing the US and LB in Sweden Rock uh, June 9th. We know all yeah. about that, trust yeah. me. It's going to yeah, be please amazing. Please open the bridge. Yeah, we will. <laughs> <laughs> we will. <laughs> oh, we shit. will. We so, but, so there, but this yeah. album, I mean, uh, we talked a couple of times on, on the radio show. Uh, for the last record re you released, I think. But this one's will be in Danish. When will we hear you know, the first single? Well, it'd be great if the Swedes also heard it. And uh, this will. album's not coming out before 24. Right now, the year 23 is is the Songs of White Lion. Oh, okay. The Songs of White Lion. Yeah. It's like that. Can, can, I mean, can you sing a little bit of something in Danish so we know what it's going like, to sound yeah, like? I, I, how about the, 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 the Eurovision Song Contest <laughs> I won with in, in 78? That'll be amazing. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have to stop him now. Yeah, thank you, thank you, okay, thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you, brother Jesper. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you need a manager. It's just, yeah, what managing. a stupid question. <laughs> He's managing the question now, oh. telling you. No, I don't think anybody so wants to hear this. I think that you know this is like the like the Danish smorgasbord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That you start with the fish, and if you make it down to the Rieselaman, <laughs> you're lucky. Okay. Oh, my love. <laughs> <laughs> these these, these guy, things don't have anything going, to do yes, with the yeah, shoulder, yeah, I but totally get what you were But both uh, uh, Soren and Jesper stuff like it, we're we're still songwriters. Yeah, and we still love music. And as the music business in itself, I mean, record stores and stuff like that, has almost disappeared. Yeah, we're not done writing songs, but we can release music every day. So we have to, you know somehow get rid of it. It's like empty ourselves with it. So we record it and then, you know, maybe in the future we put it out and stuff like that. But yeah. it's nice to go into the studio and still feel what it was like when we discovered and <laughs> fell in love with with not just rock and roll but music in general. And yeah. and, uh, and especially on this is my second album in Danish. We revisit a lot of our our early heroes from the 60s and the 70s before the new wave of British heavy metal and yeah. put us sort of in a box. So here we actually, I mean, you could find 
uh, that we're we will we will be mentioning Appa, we will be mentioning Dean Martin during the same recording session. Uh, I can tell you we didn't mention that in 1987 when White Lion was recording the Pride no, album. No. But here we are yeah. because we do love great songwriters and great albums. And now in our our old age, it is about the quality of the music. Yeah. Well, we know that you have done some very 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 nice music. So. And and then Trust you go me, I look out forward for the Danish stuff. Trust exactly, me. and then you go out on stage, and then, uh, like Angus Young once said, maybe many times, he said the same thing. It's great to go into the studio and record new music, but when you go out on stage, people want to hear the old shit. Yeah, well, and it's just it a fact. The festival shows and what I plan to do for the future, when it comes to uh, live concerts and stuff like that, is I go out and I play the White Lion songs as yeah. close to the original ones. Um, it's not a new career, it's just playing the old songs that I wrote uh, 35 years ago. Yeah. Well, and you've done it very, yeah, I'm very good. I'm, and, and now, because of doing this kind of stuff, I'm actually looking forward to do the songs. And I think when people see me walk out on stage singing these songs, yeah. they, they, they will see in my face, I want to be here. Yeah. Well, that's great. It's nice meeting you and coming into this. Yeah, I mean, no, this no, is I mean, this is rock history. This is music yeah, history. It, it is. It I mean, is. You can see Kim Larson. You can see pretty yeah, much yeah. anything here. This. Yeah, this is also amazing. one of the places. And where who's that? Just a Jesper Bidenser. Yeah, yeah, I know. Is easy. Yeah, no, you know a, that guy. It's an upcoming uh, YouTube star. A YouTube star. Yeah, he's an influencer. Oh. Ah, he's an influencer. Yeah, okay, yeah, I've heard about him. <laughs> this long hair guy, right? <laughs> the last. The last to keep it. <laughs> the last to keep the it. The rest of us had to surrender to the hairdresser. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. thanks a lot for taking time. This oh, was amazing. My pleasure. Yeah, well, Hello to everyone. Was it Pirate Radio? No, Tell Us Rock. Oh, Tell Us Rock. Well, I should have known that. How are you? We, we, we bought the studio in 2006. 2006, okay. Yes, and that was, um, what can I say, the, the whole studio was still happening, but it was kind of a tough time for studios, because it was still the 400 square meter Medley Studios, you know, and yeah. the day rate was $2,000 a day. Oh my God. And the whole business was on its, on its way down because of Spotify and la 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 la. So <laughs> we, we were three guys who took over the studio and managed to split it into three studios without destroying the legacy, if that's how to say it. Yeah. So this is where DC Miss Lizzie, D.A.D., uh, Kim Larson... Uh, yeah, well, if you look at the walls here, you can really see some... Also, I found them out there as well, Sam Salmonson. All those people, these are from my days. I, after 2006, I discovered that out of those three people, I was the rock and roll producer. So I took yeah. over the basement. This is where we do drums, and this is where we do... Hammond organs and guitars and real rock shit. Yeah, okay? the so good shit. The good, good shit. Yes. So <laughs> I was just lucky to bump into Jesper and Tramp and you know before I knew it, Thunder Mother people were here and Sunday yeah. was here and you know Glenn Hughes. We did resonate here and ah Glenn Hughes man, he's, he's well he's coming to Sweden soon. Yeah, yeah, and I'm playing guitar with Glenn. I know, so I know. That's gonna I'll, be. I'll be. That's there gonna too. be awesome. I think we have two nights. Saturday yes, and yeah. Sunday. I think they added one. You coming? Yeah, of course I will. Trust me, I wouldn't miss that for the world. Excellent. <laughs> so t in my in my seat, I'm just super happy and super lucky that I am, you know, producing rock music for a living with my friends. And yeah, but this is this like this shit happens like every day for you. Sometimes you know my tramps here and then Jesper Binsen comes and someone else and yeah. So which, which bands or artists are you are you recording now? At the, if we're talking like this month, um, I'm gonna finish off Tramp tomorrow. Then we have. Uh, Bed, tr uh, bed tracks for 10 songs then I'm gonna start um, might, might finish off some mixing with Phil Campbell and the Best of Sons ah okay Phil cool. from Motorhead yeah yeah and then uh, the Thunder Other Girls are coming in early summer yeah it's time for some new material some right? new material yeah, yeah. that's nice uh, what else is cooking a Danish band called Junkyard Drive yeah we need to finish that off it seems you're busy. <laughs> yeah, because between all this, I'm touring with Senna and Glenn Hughes at the same time. Uh, so, yeah. but I, it I feels gave, like you're living the dream. I don't know. I just gave my life to music. I don't have yeah. kids or anything. I just 
I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go, you know, full on and and see how far I can take well, you're it. You're doing a fucking good job. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. My wall of fame, so to say. Oh, your wall of fame. Yeah. And up here is a lot of funny shit. This is Mike Tramp as a kid. Uh, you know, he's he's probably 12 years old or 13 years old here. We live a vegetable. We live a vegetable. Right? <laughs> the artillery beer. Mm. I produced five albums with artillery, so they gave me a couple of beers. Um, this Underberg. Um, it has my son's autograph from Thunder Mother. Ah. She went She went out alone in Copenhagen to get a drink and came home with this in her bra. <laughs> and she had no idea wow. how the fuck that what happens. happens. That's a good one. The only I w award I ever, ever got was the High Voltage Award for Artillery, ah. which is pretty nice. And then Trampy gave me this. That's an award he, he had in 89 for Best Rock. Vocalist. Oh wow! It's a good one, yeah. So this this little wall is uh, is my uh, gift wall, and the spirits here are from you know different bands that you know want to say thank you for a great session. So they think I'm an alcoholic, so they just give me booze. <laughs> well, you're a rock star, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna blame them to think that. <laughs> so that's a pretty. Well, uh, that's nice. That's a really nice uh, shelf. And my kiss babushka. Ah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Oh my god. Yeah, well, that's how it is when you're in Copenhagen. Suddenly you run into the studio and you meet some rock stars and you get to see the wall of... Wall oh of my fame. God, the wall of fame. I'll, did Jesper did show you the... Um, we, okay, come here. We, I'll give you some crazy stories. Only take five minutes. <laughs> this is exactly what we hope will happen today when we're re Jesper, because we know everything can happen. The original, the original uh, logo from 83 or 4, hand, hand painted, and up here, oh it's big, this is the, the studio one, yes we showed you this? Um, no, that was the original. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we came in this way. Okay, that's true. Yeah, that's the original. Yeah, this is this is where they mixed "Sleeping My Day Away" and all these famous albums. They're mixed here. Yeah. Okay. One for the wall. Okay, check it out. Check it out. Prince. <laughs> the original track sheet from '88 on his 24 track machine. He was here for one day, he had a day off. So he booked the studio and he said, I only need an engineer and everybody else out. <laughs> Lynn clap, Lynn kick. <laughs> great, right? That's great. That's, 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 uh, that's wow. Great. And the other, the other collector's item is in here, which is fine as well. Everywhere here. This is Tom York's from Radiohead. <laughs> they did they did Kid A and Amnesiac in these very rooms. Tom York's. And you forgot that one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs>